In this video, we're going to try to install Bitwig Studio on our Surface Pro 3, and then we'll open it up and uh, give it a real quick test. Okay, so before we get, begin, we've already downloaded Bitwig Studio, so let's go ahead and start running it here. This Surface is an i5 model with 8 gig of RAM, uh, 256 gig hard drive. We're outputting uh, this screen. It's being duplicated on this screen over here, okay? But everything is happening on our Surface Pro 3. So let's go through the installation process here and uh, just see how this does. Now I already have this installed on my main computer. I'm just wondering if there's going to be anything different. You know, there shouldn't be, uh, but we'll find out. So we'll go through this installation process. Okay, so that's it. You know, Bitwig is really, really quick to install, but that's mainly because we download a lot of things after it's been installed. Go ahead and open this up. So recently added, we'll go Bitwig Studio. And we already have ASIO for all installed on this computer right here, okay? Now one really cool thing about Bitwig is you can log in to activate. Also, that's kind of like a FL Studio, you can log in or use a reg code. Uh, Reason 8, you can log in, that's, that's very nice. Unlike Pro Tools where you have to have a dongle uh, connected to run Pro Tools, uh, Bitwig is great because, you know, we can log in which is awesome. So it makes it really easy uh, for things like portable things like laptops, uh, surfaces, tablets, things like that. Okay, so I logged in. Now I can activate this computer or you know run this session only. I might as well activate this computer. I'll probably use Bitwig on this surface quite often. Okay, so we have a new version of Bitwig. Let me go ahead and install this real quick as well. So while that update to Bitwig Studio is downloading, you know we might as well go ahead and go through some of this stuff here now. As you saw, Bitwig installed you know, extremely quickly. That's because a lot of the things uh, that are included, you get to choose exactly what you uh, want to install here from our package manager. You see all of, the, all of these things here that we're, we're able to install. Okay, so you'll probably want a lot of this stuff, if not all of it. I want all of it, so I'll click install. And we'll just go ahead and do that. So we'll just let all of this install now. Let me come down here and make sure I have all this, this stuff here checked to install. I'm just going to go through and make sure everything's checked to install. And it is. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit. It's uh, you know, going to be a lot to download and install, but we'll be back after everything is installed, and then we'll pop into it real quick. Okay, so now it looks like we have installed all of those packages, and I've already downloaded the update here, but we're going to install that later on. No need to see that. So let's go ahead and continue through here and let's see if we can get Bitwig to work here on our surface. So our options here are, you know, our audio system. What do we want to use? We can choose a WAS API, which is the Windows. We can use ASIO or Jack. Now let's just go with uh, Windows there, although we could do ASIO and uh, choose like ASIO for all. Well, that's the FL Studio, which would actually works pretty well, but uh, we'll do ASIO for all. Or we could do WAS API. Either one is fine. We'll just go and click next. Now I don't have any controllers connected to this. Uh, I'll need to get like a small little uh, portable MIDI controller. All right, here we go. Okay. So this is Bitwig Studio. Came up just fine. Come down here to preferences and the display. We can change this here from tablet. You see it defaulted to tablet. That's why it looks the way it does. Uh, but we can go to, say, single display. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. So here's Bitwig Studio. Let me expand that out. All right, so it's opened up here. Let's see. Yeah, we got some plugins. Some things from FL Studio there. Bitwig plugins here. So touch, okay, so touch is pretty good here, so far anyway. One thing that's cool about Bitwig is you can actually have more than one uh, session open at a time, so that's pretty neat. And uh, as you saw, we had that tablet mode as well. Let's grab the string orchestra, pull this in. So one really cool thing about Bitwig is, you know, if you watch the video about Reason on the surface, you know, we had an on-screen keyboard. Well, uh, in Bitwig, we can just hit caps locks. And now we can start using our keyboard. 
to uh, you know play mini notes. You can also go up and down octaves. Let's just see if I can record again. This is not really uh, so much of a demo of Bitwig as we can see how it works here on the surface. So you know what? Let me use touch instead of using this keyboard here. Hit record here. Okay. There we go. Like this, and we'll hit play. So obviously that playing is you know horrendous, but that's not really the point. The point is to see how this works with with touch in here on a surface. So the radial menu is kind of interesting. See if I go to the side now, I get my eraser. Press and hold. Now I'm drawing. That's pretty cool. Press and hold and go down, check mark, up, I get my selector, that's kind of cool. Huh. So this actually works very, very well with touch. I mean, I know what I'm playing sucks, but <laughs> that's not really the point. A hi-hat there. And you can see that radial menu seems to work pretty much everywhere. It's pretty interesting how that works. I gotta say, touch is done very well, at least you know from this uh, limited time I've had with it here. Which again, we're kind of just seeing how everything works uh, real quick here. Pretty nice, actually. Synth, Bitwig, Polysynth, as in four, huh? Okay, and again, we could go back to his options, preferences. This is our display. We can change this to tablet. And then it'll be reset like this. Really small text there. And this looks like an interesting way to create music, music as well. multi-touch <laughs> that's weird then you go to edit page here uh, we haven't even used our pin yet pretty cool the range page looks fairly easy to use with the pin or even with just a finger it seems like and I like how when using the pin well, we can just pick right up on it just like the mouse. Go to a finger, it notices a finger, and then we get our radio menu, a bunch of options that we can new use there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I don't want to go on too long here. But that is a bitwig on our Microsoft Surface Pro 3. You know, go check it out, download the free demo. It's uh, you know, you can get the free demo. Pretty cool, actually. And uh, for touch, you know, they've done a really great job and I've only been using this for a few minutes, you know, as you can probably tell, but uh, pretty neat. Bitwig Studio, go check it out, man. It's pretty cool. And uh, you know, there's a lot I haven't shown here, so be sure to subscribe because we're going to be doing, hopefully we'll be doing a lot more with Bitwig in the future. It's a pretty cool doll, you know, very advanced. All right, so it works. This is what we wanted to see, does Bitwig work? on a Surface Pro 3, and obviously it does. <laughs>